The Christians believe we live on the earth as a punishment. Muslims don't believe that. You know, some Muslims think Adam alayhi salam ate from the tree and so Allah punished him and so he sent him to the earth. So coming to the earth for some people, it's a punishment. I am telling you Allah sent, Allah put us on the earth before any tree or any fruit or anything. He already said you are supposed to be on the earth. That was part of the plan. That was part of the plan. Oh man, this is going to get complicated. Listen to my example carefully. Everything will start making sense. Insha'Allah. There is a person who works in a company. He works in a company and he is a secretary. Very low job. First, you know, at the front desk. Almost security guard kind of guy. Okay? He has to get chai for the boss. He has to, you know, drive his car and that's what he does. But he works really hard and he gets promoted. And he goes to school and he gets promoted again. And then he gets promoted again. And then he gets promoted again. He serves in this company for 30, 40 years. And now he is the vice president of the company. What was his first job? Security guard for the company. And now what is he? What did I say? President or vice president? Vice president. That's a lot of promotion. He gave his whole life to this company. Now one, there's only one person who has a higher job than him. Who's that? The president. So the president walks into his office one day with a 15 year old boy. And he says to him, hey listen, uh, this 15 year old boy, he's our new vice president. Go get him some chai. Now the vice president served in this company for 40 years. He got promoted and promoted and promoted and promoted. And all of a sudden, this 15 year old is going to be the vice president? Excuse me? No. You can't, you can't do that to me. Who is he? What degree does he have? What qualifications does he have? What has he ever done? He doesn't have, he doesn't know anything. Look at what I have done. Look at what he has done. Look at my experience, look at his experience. Look at my qualifications, look at his qualifications. He, does he, has he even graduated from school? This boy? Does he even know how to spell his own name? You're gonna make him vice president? I do not accept. Oh. You feel bad for the vice president or no? I would feel bad if I was, in the, I was in the office watching this, I was like, man, this is not fair. Poor vice president. He worked so hard and all of a sudden he doesn't, instead of getting a promotion, he gets this other guy and he says, this is a, yeah, go get him some chai. What is this? But I'm not talking to you about a vice president, am I? Who am I talking about? Iblis. Did he serve Allah before? Did he get promoted? He got promoted even above the angels. And all of a sudden this thing is made from dirt. And then Allah put ruh in it and says, this gets the promotion. And Iblis says what? No. You can't give him the, that's not fair. What I'm trying to tell you is that the complaint of Iblis is logical. We will solve that problem later. But the first thing you need to know is that the complaint of Iblis is understandable. That's the first problem. Here's the second problem. Now imagine that you work in a company and you live where in Kuwait. And your company decided that they are going to transfer you. They're going to transfer you to you from Kuwait. They're going to transfer you to Sri Lanka. Okay? But they don't tell you. They email the whole department, but they don't email you. Everybody knows that you are going where? Where are you going to go? I forgot. Tell me. Oh, you're going to Sri Lanka. Very good. Congratulations. Everybody knows the only one who does not know is who? You. Okay. One day you come five minutes late. 
You come to the office, how late? Five minutes late. And your boss says, can I talk to you for a second? Come here. You have come five minutes late. This is unacceptable. I am transferring you to Sri Lanka. But wait a second. The plan was always to send me to Sri Lanka. And then somebody comes and tells me, hey listen, everybody got the email. You're going to Sri Lanka. And you say, what? Really? Yeah, you're going to Sri Lanka. And you say, I don't want to go to Sri Lanka. I want to stay here. He says, yeah, if you want to stay here, meet me in my office. It'll take five minutes. You'll only be five minutes late to work. And so you're how late to work? Five minutes. And when you're five minutes late, your boss calls you and says, why are you late? I will punish you and send you where? Sri Lanka. Sorry, Sri Lankans. I don't mean Sri Lanka is a punishment. I love Sri Lanka. <laughs> but if, you, if you're being sent there, you say, no, 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 wait a second. You already decided. You are not sending me because I made a mistake. You are sending me because that was your plan. It's not my fault. You were always going to do that. Yes or no? And then you'll show him the email. Look, the email says, you're sending me. You told everybody else. The whole department knows I'm going to be sent. But I'm not talking about you. And I'm not talking about Sri Lanka. What am I talking about? Adam alayhi salam. What did Allah tell the angels? I am going to send him where? On the earth. But Adam alayhi salam did not begin his life on the earth. He began his life in Jannah. And then he's living in Jannah. He's told you can have anything you want. The only thing you cannot have is what? One tree, one fruit from this tree. You don't have that. Everywhere else you're free to go. Now Iblis comes to him from Surah Al-A'raf. We learn Iblis comes to him and gives him two options. Listen to these two options. And takuna malakaini aw takuna min al-khalideen. Listen, everybody got the email. You're supposed to go where? Earth. But where do you live right now? Jannah. So you know what? The only people who get to stay here, who get the proper visa here, there's only two kinds of people who can stay in Jannah. Either you have to be an angel, or you have to be permanent residents. Khalidin. Those are the only two people who have visa that they can stay permanently in Jannah. And you know what? The only way to get visa is to eat from the tree. That's why he doesn't want you to eat from the tree. Because if you eat from the tree, what's going to happen? Oh, then you will get permanent residence. You see, I'm telling you, the plan is to send you to the earth. Now, Adam alayhi salam and our mother, they eat from the tree or no? They eat from the tree. And when they eat from the tree, what does Allah say? Ihbitu. Get down from here. Go where? To the earth. Now I told you a little bit about Iblis and I told you a little bit about who? Adam. Let's compare the two of them. Think about this clearly because we have to reach some conclusions. Adam alayhi salam was given a promotion, yes or no? Yes, he was given a promotion. Even the angels had to do what? Sajda. He's given a promotion. Was Iblis ever given a promotion? Yes, he was given a promotion even above the ranks of the of the angels. So they both had a promotion. Adam alayhi salam was honored by Allah. Iblis was also honored by Allah. Adam alayhi salam disobeyed Allah. Yes or no? Yes. Iblis disobeyed Allah. Yes or no? Yes. Before I go to Adam, Iblis, la'anahullah, Iblis has a logical complaint. Yes or no? Remember the promotion and the vice president? Does Iblis have a logical complaint? Yes. Adam can also have a logical complaint. What's Adam's logical complaint possibly? Well, you were always going to send me to the earth. This is a trap. I eat from the tree or don't eat from the tree. You were always going to send me. You, you already knew I was going to eat from the tree. 
Allah already knows what I'm going to do. It's not my fault. So Iblis can have a logical complaint and Adam can also have a logical complaint. The difference is Iblis makes the complaint. But Adam السلام, does not complain. He says, Rabbana walamna anfusana. He says, no, it's my fault. Even if it doesn't make sense to me, my logic is limited because I am a human being. Allah knows way more than I do. Allah has way more wisdom than I do. I know that I got greedy. I know my fault. You know what happens? When people want to blame Allah, they don't want to take responsibility. And Adam السلام, took personal responsibility. When people want to blame Allah, they will be like Iblis. And when people take personal responsibility, they will be like who? Adam السلام. The entire problem of destiny is one problem, the problem of responsibility. That's all it is.